It's time for you to shut the fuck up and just get to work. How y'all doing? My name is Kent Talk and I'm back again with another video. If you like this content, please consider liking the video, sharing the content, uh, subscribing. If you want to tithe and subscribe, my cash app is in the description. This video is going to be very vulgar and straight to the point. So it is what it is, man. Sometimes I just have to make messages like this. It's time to shut the fuck up, yo. It's time to shut the fuck up and just get to work. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to what I'm about to say. We've been talking about how we're going to do this and do that. We're going to start doing this. We're going to start implementing and integrating these positive habits into our lives and go to the gym and start meditating, start getting closer to God, you know, just all these different things. And we ain't done a damn thing except talk. Talk, talk, fucking talk, yo. And then it's funny because I read a scripture yesterday because yesterday was the 14th. So I said, let me go to Proverbs 14 in the Bible just to see. And it just so happened to be a scripture that I've read before and it hit me right in the face once again. It's Proverbs 14. It's Proverbs chapter 14, verse 23, where it basically says, you know, it's different translations, but essentially it says, you know, hard work leads to profit. But talking or mere talk leads to poverty. Essentially, if you a lazy fuck, don't expect to get bucks. <laughs> if all you doing is talking about what you're going to do, oh, you know, I'm going to start doing some, you know, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going I'm to start doing it. But you never do it. Expect for your life to never fucking change. And I am proof of that. I'm 32 years old. And for the last few all essentially all, my entire life, all I've done is talk about what I'm going to do. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing that. And I ain't done a fucking thing. No one is stopping me. There's no conspiracy. It's not the government. It's not the Illuminati. It's me. It's me. It's not the white man. It's not the secret societies. It's me. Because mere talk leads to poverty. Talking about something makes us feel good. I really think it does something to our dopamine, like our feel good chemical when we accomplish something. It's like if I sit here and tell you, man, you know, I'm going to get back in the gym. I'm going to start going to the studio more, recording music, making more content. See, it feels good to talk about. You know what doesn't feel good? Actually taking action to make it happen. It's like someone who says, man, you know, I'm going to start going to the gym, start working out. See, it sounds good. So you feel good saying and telling everyone, posting on Facebook, man, I'm about to lose 30 pounds. Everybody about to be on their New Year's resolution bullshit, yada, yada, yada. But then when it comes to actually putting in the work, like going to the gym, because that's the thing we don't enjoy, we avoid it. Why? Because it doesn't feel good. For us, all we want to do is feel good in the moment. Instant gratification, IG, instant gratification. Whether it comes to watching porn, sex, uh, drugs, alcohol, weed, it's all about feeling good instantly. And that's why many of us don't take a chance to advance ourselves. It's not because we're not talented. It's not because we don't have the ability. It's not because we, we we're dumb or stupid. Maybe we're not skilled in something, but we can most certainly learn. But we're fucking lazy. We want to bitch about our lives. Oh, my life is so fucked up. But you ain't doing a fucking thing to get your bucks up. You ain't doing a fucking thing to change your life. What's your screen time look like? Let's say you watching the phone. I mean, you on the screen eight hours a day or two hours a day. Now, let me ask you, out of the two hours you're spending on your screen time, how much of that is actually dedicated to you advancing yourself? Or is it just porn sites? Or is it just uh, what what this what the latest celebrity is doing? Or what Krishan said? What Krishan did? What Blueface did? No, no, no. What what J Cole said? No, what Drake did? What the fuck are you doing? Don't talk to me about no. What are you doing? And understand. And if this is your first time watching my content. Understand. I'm not saying this stuff because I'm some self improvement guru, red pill bullshit. No, I'm saying this because I wish I would have known this shit or applied this shit 20 years ago. So if I can save you a little bit of time, I'm going to do it. This is fucked up. And it's like, 
I'm starting to realize, man, God does not require us to be perfect. All he wants us to do is show effort. That's it. Show some effort. God is not requiring that we get it because we'll never get everything right. God is not requiring, does not require perfection. He requires progression one step at a time. The Bible says when Jesus was in the garden of, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he was in the garden. That's when he was talking to God. And I'll post uh, what scripture it is. But when he was talking to God saying, yo, if there's another way, you take this cup away from me. But, you know, he said, not my will, but thy will. And he said he moved forward a little bit. So he took a small step. The point is he took a step. The point is the savior of the world who died for all our sins even told God, hey man, if there's another way, let me do this, but not your will, but thy will. So I'm going to move forward even a little bit. He took a small step, but that small step completed his, ultimately will complete his mission. Sometimes it's just taking a small step. Sometimes it's just about really seeing your ass down and right now, what the fuck you want out of life. Or sometimes it's about shutting the fuck up and getting your ass to work. How long you been talking about doing that podcast? How long you been talking about doing that, 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 uh, writing that book? How long you been talking about doing that merch store? Started selling shirts and merchandise. How long you been talking about that? How long you been saying, oh, you know, I'm going to get my driving license? When? Or let me guess, tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow is promise. You, like, you fucking know you're going to be here tomorrow, right? You know. The Bible says, like, we're dust. <laughs> you really, th oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going, it's, 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 I'm starting to realize, yo, that is pride. You really think you're going to be here tomorrow? Says who? It's no way in hell I thought my grandma was going to be was going to pass away a month ago or two months or a hell a month ago. Time moving so fast now. October 12th. You couldn't have told me that last year when I believed it. Now she's gone. But you but you but you safe with where you are now. Let me guess. You just waiting on Jesus to come back. I'm just going to wait for Jesus to come back. What the fuck are you doing now? What are you doing? It's time to get to work. And most of what I'm saying, I'm really talking to me. So if you can, I'm at that point now where I'm making this content. Sometimes I just got to talk to me and look myself in the camera and say, yo, I'm talking to me. If you can resonate with that, cool. It's appreciated. But honestly, I don't give a fuck because I love making content. So I'm just going to make what the fuck I want to make. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe, tie and subscribe. My cash up is in the description. If you don't, it's all good. Keep it fucking moving. Either way, I want to see you do better. I want to see you heal. I want to see you grow. That's it. It's time to shut the fuck up, man. Excuse my language this this episode. I know I you know I try not to cuss like that on these podcasts. I mean podcast these these YouTube videos. Well, I guess it is a podcast, whatever you want to call it. But it's like sometimes you, enough of the self improvement videos. How many more self improvement videos do you need to watch? You done seen every video by Jordan Peterson. You done seen every video by Joe Rogan. You done listened to every podcast. You done bought Think and Grow Rich. You done bought uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You done listened to all the motivational shit that Kobe Bryant said about mama mentality. Yet you haven't done a fucking thing to change your life. Who fault is that? Nah, man, but you know the government... Nah, but you know what I'm saying? You know, we black men in America, white men. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, but you see, it's... it's... Okay. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's like... That's all I can think to myself. The fuck are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You can't blame anyone. This is you. You're here. What are you going to do about it? You don't like where you are. I don't like where I am. What are you going to do about it? Wow, but see, I'm a, but what are you going to do about it? Now, nah, but I'm going to start, but what are you going to do about it? Now, nah, but I'm going to start doing this. When? Now, nah, I just got to wait for when? Now, nah, but you know, when? Let me guess, tomorrow? Next week, right? No, nah, nah, let me guess, you're going to wait till December 31st. You can make your New Year's resolution, and that's when you're going to start actually making moves. Okay. That's nice. 
I'm pretty sure a year from now, you're per more than likely gonna be in the same position you're in right now. Trust me, I know. I'm speaking from experience. I wish you well. I hope you get everything you want out of life. But believe me when I say, if you don't put forth the fucking work, you won't listen. If you don't take action, nothing will happen. Fuck all these self-help videos and all this other bullshit. It's just time to put your head down and get to fucking work. Oh, but I'm scared I'm going to fail. You're already failing. You're a fucking failure at life now. How are you afraid of doing something you're already fucking doing? I'm afraid of failure. You're already fucking failure. Look at your bank account. Look at you. Look at your life. You're already fucking failing. How can you be afraid to do something you're already doing? Work. I'm not saying just go to work, go to no bullshit ass job. No, I'm saying if you can go bust your ass for 10, 12 fucking hours a day, you can dedicate 15 to 30 minutes a day working on your dreams. But now nah, go ahead and scroll on your screen. Watch TikTok all day. Watch YouTube all day. I love how people will say, I, ain't, I don't be on social media no more. Yet you watch fucking YouTube all day. The fuck is the difference? And I'm speaking to myself, ironically. So, but if you can relate, cool. I'm really talking to myself right now. This is really a conversation between me and me. This is an A-B conversation. And if you can see yourself in it, cool. I know that was corny as fuck. I don't give a shit. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated. Tie and subscribe. My cash app is in the description. Sometimes we just need to hear this. Fuck all them self-help videos. Fuck the motivation of... Bro, just get to work. You've seen enough. How many more Eric Thomas videos do you need to watch? How many more passes do you need to watch before you just get to fucking work? How many get to work? Mere talk leads to poverty. Proverbs 14, Proverbs 14, verse 23. Read it. Shut the fuck up. It's time to get to work. Like, comment, subscribe. My name is Ken Talk. Just sharing my thoughts. Peace.